In zoos you will often find these types of directional signs pointing towards the enclosures. Today I want to teach you how to create something that comes close to that in two different designs. An easy version which is actually the one looking the most like the real deal and then a version which is more time consuming and creative but more about that later. Making the sign structure itself is pretty simple. We already got these as signs you can put text on, but it turns out they also got a good size for the smallest billboards. You can roughly fit two and a half in here. The specific sign piece is from the base game, but in my design here I'm using some DLC pieces too. So you can either build one of these yourself in a style you like, or you can go and find this one I'm making here as a blueprint. Now we just need to fill out the black parts and let us start with the easy example. For the easy one you just need to know the image size of one of the billboards, then open some kind of app for picture editing. I recommend Canva. It is free and simple to use. When you're here click create designs and put in the size of one of the billboards. Now in your first image you go to background and pick the color you want for your sign. Then create another image with the same background and go and find a silhouette or similar picture of the animal you want on it. These signs have a little square area in the end of them so if you can make the artwork fit in here it will often look the best. So placing the image a little to the right will probably be a good idea. Now you just need to download these two pictures and put them inside of the use media folder for billboards. When you want to click on the billboards, the sign itself will be in the way. The best you can do here is to click only on the sign piece, then press delete, then click on the billboard you want to fill out. While it's showing the blue color, you can press undo and then you'll be able to go and find your sign in the folder. For the first two you want to find your clean colored image. For the last one you go with the artwork one. You can use it like this or you can actually still put text on the sign. Because the billboards are placed so close to the surface of the sign then the text will show up on top of it. You also have to fill out the other side of it. So in total we got six billboards on this. Here you might want to have your image mirrored. The only way to do that is to save another version of it, which is flip. The full colored ones of course work as they already are, no matter the side. So this was the easier version of this which appear quite like how you often see them in Zeus. If you feel like getting a bit more creative, then you can use the billboard technique that you might have seen on Zetasage's channel or elsewhere, where you align multiple billboards to create one big image. For a deeper explanation on how to do this, I'll suggest you go and watch this video. I guess he doesn't mind me sending viewers his way, so find a link in the description below. But I will just quickly go through the steps here, since there is one thing you need to be aware of when you are using this technique on these sites. So you create an image fitting the size of three billboards. I went with an arrow out in the square spot and a larger animal picture in the middle. To the left and slightly going into the center of the image I have kept a clean color. This is because we have the two billboards overlapping. Cause of that it is very difficult to align something perfectly here. But with a clean color you can't see the split. So this is where stuff is a bit different from the before mentioned technique. Now we can use image splitter to make it into three pieces and then get Get it up on the sign. This time for the other side of your sign you'll need to have two images saved in a flipped version. So with this technique you can get very creative. This was two examples of how to use the small billboards for these signs but you can of course put on whatever you want. But I really think these signs help to bring some real life zoo atmosphere into Planet Zoo. I hope it was useful and if you like tutorials then make sure to subscribe to the channel because I got a video in the making for how to use my treetop adventure structure seen here in Kenobi Gardens. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you want to stay.